Hi Pisces, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a new thing I'm doing. I'm going to do a weekly update instead of doing big, long readings, because, you know, the energy takes a minute to change, right? And I don't want to keep repeating the same readings over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do from now on is a weekly update on Mondays, right? So we're going to do a big monthly reading, and then we're going to do weekly updates throughout the, um, throughout the remainder of the month. Okay, so I'm also changing something up as well. I'm not going to do a big spiel before we get started here. I'm just going to jump right in. I will say if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. If you'd like to hang around for my spiel at the end of this reading, you're more than welcome to do so, okay? All right, so we open up this reading with you in the Ten of Swords. You have put an ending to something. And if you haven't watched the reading before this, this is literally a continuation of that reading. Now, you may find yourself newbies to the channel, um, people who haven't watched the previous readings. This reading will be applicable to you. However, for those of you that are subscribers that follow me continually on um, YouTube, this is definitely a continuation from your previous reading. So, you open this reading with the Ten of Swords. You have put an absolute ending to something. The hangman comes in and says that this took a minute for you to do, right? It took a minute, you thought about it. But now you're coming, you're, you're coming through putting an ending to something. A, a relationship is what the previous readings were about, right? Um, you've put an end to it, and now you're coming, you're turning over, right? You're coming out on the other side with a fresh new perspective about life. This Queen of Swords tells me that you have absolutely cut something out of your life with the Ten of Swords. You've put an absolute end to it. The Eight of Cups says that you have walked away, walked away. Death comes in and says there is obviously an ending there's a change happening in your life, a transition, a transformation, right? With the Four of Swords, you're resting now. You're resting, recuperating, and healing from everything that it took to get up to this point right here with the Ten of Swords, right? Temperance comes in, says you're doing some self-healing, right? You're, 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 you're just healing, right? The King of Pentacles comes in and says you're feeling like a boss, you feel in a lot of self-confidence, a lot of personal security. You feel control and power in your life. You're feeling really, really good about it. However, <laughs> the Prince of Swords comes in and says there is some communication being delivered to you that is going to require some action on your part. This communication is being delivered by the devil himself or the devil herself, the she-devil, right? Um, so this communication that's coming in that's going to require action from you is being delivered by the person that you ended this relationship with up here, okay? This person, this communication that's coming in from this person that you ended this relationship with up here, um, broke your heart, or there was a lot of pain associated with this, with this toxic person right here, right? Well, this person is coming in with action oriented communication saying, Hey Pisces, let's give it a go again. I'm sorry for being such an asshole. I'll make things better. I'll do better. I'll be better, right? The chariot card says that this devil wants to take forward movement with you. He wants to take or she wants to take action, right? They want to get back together. The Four of Cups leaves you contemplating and reevaluating because if you've watched the previous readings, you know that it took a good long minute to get to the point where you actually pulled the trigger and ended this relationship. So with this new communication that's coming in, and you know, when we really have the feels for someone, when they come back and they're like, oh, please don't go. I love you. I'll do anything. I'll be different. I'll change. I'll act different. Um, when we really love somebody, we really, you know, it's, it's almost against human nature not to contemplate or reevaluate the situation. You're contemplating and reevaluating this communication from the devil character that broke your heart or caused you some kind of intense pain in the past, right? The Four of Wands, you're thinking about, this is a dual purpose card right here. So with the Four of Wands, you're thinking about 
harmony in your, in your life, in your home, in your relationships, right? This card is also about transition. So you are contemplating and reevaluating if this is something you would even begin to entertain because you've come so far in the transition that you've made, right? This communication, look at all these clarifiers right there. There's a bunch of them. This communication leaves you with just massive internal conflict, right? Strife, tension, conflict. Of course it does, right? However, you made a decision up here and you're going to stick to this decision. You, my friend, are fully intent on having a new beginning and taking a new journey in your life without this devil energy. The emperor comes in and says you are laser focused on the control, establishment, security, and structure of your life. The Six of Wands says that you have some self-confidence and you're making progress and you're having victory in your healing from this situation. The Tower moment. Oh, maybe y'all can't see that. Let's put this right over here so you can see this, okay? This communication from this devil character was a Tower moment. It was a revelation and an awakening for you. A, a revelation and an awakening that clarified the conflict that was involved in this situation. Princess of Swords comes in and says that this communication right here leaves you in an energy of the Seven of Wands. It leaves you um, feeling guarded and self-protective right? Maybe even a little overwhelmed. The three of wands comes in and tells us that, that, that you have come again such a long way and you're preparing yourself for your future, right? You, you, you absolutely made the decision that this devil energy was not going to be a part of your life anymore. And then the sucker comes in with some communication that just kind of throws, throws you for a minute, right? Nine of Wands. It makes you feel defensive. Number one, totally hesitant to even return this communication. But number two, and first and foremost, I guess this would be number one, is that you're defensive, right? You're like, hell to the no, no, no. Hell no. Because there is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon for you, and you know it, Pisces. The hermit comes in and says that this whole decision-making process right here has not been a flippant decision. You just didn't get mad one day and pack your shit and move out, right? You just didn't get mad one day and decide not to return text messages or phone calls. No, you put a lot of thought into this, a lot of thought into your life, into this, and you want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. So this Hermit card represents that this is a very deep decision, not a flippant decision, a deep decision, because you're about to start a new chapter of your life and a new life cycle. This, this chapter, this relationship right here is completed. It's over in your mind, not my mind. I'm not telling you it's over. I'm telling you what the cards are telling me that you feel <laughs> this relationship is over, right? And you're traveling on, you are moving on and you're not looking back. Just like the last one, the last reading said, I think I called it uh, swimming away and not looking back. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You are swimming away and not looking back. The King of Wands says that you feel powerful and successful, right? Just like you do with this King of Pentacles right here. You feel powerful and you feel successful and you have passion and vision for your life without this devil character. Two of Pentacles says you're finally gaining some balance and some prioritization in your mental, in your life, in your stability, right? The sun card comes in and says, you see things crystal 
clear. This devil energy saying, oh, Pisces, please don't leave. Please don't leave. You see it crystal clear. You see it for what it is. No more rose colored glasses in this situation. And you're in pursuit of happiness, Pisces. The alchemist or the magician comes in and says, you have manifested peace and happiness in your life. You have manifested hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. You have manifested success. You have manifested the nine of cups, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life. And you are in pursuit of your dreams and your wishes, Pisces. Look, Pisces right there. Pisces, the high priestess. Now, normally this card would be about your intuition, your subconscious mind, sitting down, having a conversation with spirit, right? And I'm sure that you have done that throughout the course of these past few readings, right? But this card right here, right now is representing you, Pisces, crossed with the Ace of Cups, self-love. That's what you have right now. Self-love was what was the, the fire behind your decision to end this situation with this toxic character right here, to walk away, to, tra to change, transform, and transition so you can heal, right? So you can do some self-healing so you can find the purpose in your life. This self-love is why you're sitting here like a boss, like the, like a, the king of pentacles, right? So this high priestess is you, Pisces, having self-love and on your way, on your journey to an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in your life without the toxicity, without the heartbreak, without the pain. Very good, Pisces. I am proud of you. This is your weekly update um, for, uh, I think this is what, the first week of March. This is a weekly update. Um, it doesn't mean that this won't resonate if it's the middle of March or the first of June. However, this is the energy that I'm picking up for Pisces, at least this particular Pisces right here, right now. Okay. Now, if this is where we part ways, my friends, awesome. Namaste. This was your reading. I will see you next Monday. If this is not where we part ways, this is the spiel. Now, with general readings, it's super important to follow three major elements in your chart. Your sun sign, Pisces, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel, right? The moon, it's about gravitational forces, the tides, the, 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 the magnetic field, right? It's about how we feel about things. Your moon sign is how you process all of the information that comes into you through your sun sign. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you put that information back out into the world. I can't stress how important it is, particularly with these free general readings, that you watch those three other signs, two other signs. You watch your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign because it will fill in the gaps and the ambiguity of the general readings, right? There's a link in the box below where you can find out what your natal chart is. If you scroll down past all of the, the astrological charts that I don't even understand, if you scroll down past all of that, there are brief synopsises about your personality characteristics based on the planetary position of those three signs and then some. So check those out. Not only that, but it's important to know that not only for yourself, but for the people that you're cross-watching for and the people that you interact with in your life. If you know your lovers, your, your children, your boss, your, your nanny, whatever, if you know those three important signs in the lives of the people that you interact with on the daily, you will be able to understand how they receive communication, how they process communication, and how they put communication back out to you. That way you can, and I don't want to say manipulate because that has such a negative connotation, but if you understand how other people communicate, 
you can communicate with them in a way to get the results that you need to have and have solid functional communication in your relationships. All right, that's my spiel, Pisces. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. 40 bucks, we'll hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Namaste.